hi everyone in today's video we will see how we can create a custom query on oledb connection so if you want to create a custom query in oledb connection uh, make sure you already have a successful oledb connection with you uh, as you can see uh, this is my power query editor and this i already have this oledb connection already created successfully so uh, when we say custom uh, query which means like we will not load the all the tables we will load the specific tables only for example if i show you this agents table see there uh, this is you know a lot of data coming up but if we want to load only specific data over some conditions or we you already have some sql where you can put that sql and uh, want to get the result out of that sql so how you can do that okay so for this, uh, let's start from the beginning. So you will go to your recent data source where you already have this OLEDB connection configured. Uh, I'll click on this one. And uh, it will it will start connecting using the credentials and the database server name you have already configured while creating an OLEDB connection. So uh, you can see like this is my database. And if I click, click on DBO, uh, there are a lot of tables coming up here. So I'll select agent table for now and you see this is the entire data in the agent table i will load the entire data so uh, what what uh, we will change the query a later point of time but uh, for now just load the entire data okay so uh, i will rename it to uh, custom sql custom sql okay so in this custom sql now what we're going to do is we we will change the query from the advanced editor go to advanced editor and now you see this is automatically created using uh, by power bi uh, this this is an m language which uh, which is supported by power bi so we don't need all of this what we need is basically uh, we will tell what we have to alter this right so how do we write a sql uh, query on this so we need to first delete this we will write result is equal to leadb Okay, this is a function which is already there uh, with the uh, result query and you see in the result query there are two parameters one is called connection string and second one is the query this query is basically the sql query which you want to pass okay so the connection string we can copy this entire connection string from here you can see this is already here so let's copy this one uh, let's see. let me copy this paste it here and now next uh, i have to write the sql which i want to execute so i will write select star from preview dot agents where agent underscore code is equal to for now let's say i'm zero zero five okay that's it uh, so this is done uh, i will also delete this uh, first line because there is no more required, I have already used the query string in my result uh, function. And now this result function has to be included in the output. So copy this and replace this from the agent's table in the in section. So delete it. And then I paste the result. That's it. And now hit done. So once you click done, it will refresh it and it will ask you to provide the permission to run the query which you have added in the uh, in the custom SQL on the server. So if you click on run, what it will do, it will go back and run the query and now see, you, will, you are only getting A005 because we have run this query. We are not taking all the data, we, the data is running back using the SQL query. So in case if you want multiple records, you can use any operator or you can use whatever SQL you want to have like joining condition or where condition whatever uh, you can use it as per your requirement and uh, you can uh, fetch the data based on this so yeah now i have used two queries so ideally you should throw two records so i have clicked done now let's see what happens so again it is asking for a permission to run the query on the server so click run and yeah now both uh, the record has been resulted back Okay, so this is how you can write the SQL query using an OLEDB connection uh, and there's a function called OLEDB.query. Provide the connection string first and then provide your SQL. 
and then use that variable in your result set and then click done. Okay. So thank you. Uh, for now, and if you have any question, let me.